Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I'm back in my classroom. It's been a long time. Well, for you guys. <laughs> Actually, it probably hasn't been that long because I was so late on uploading so many videos, but I'm back. It's um, Wednesday. Yesterday was our first day back with students. Um, Monday, we had a professional development day. So, oh, that camera was really crooked. Um, we had a professional development day. And then yesterday was actually out half the day because I had a doctor's appointment in the morning. Um, so today was like my first full day back, which is crazy because it's already Wednesday and then tomorrow's going to be Thursday and then it's going to be the end of the week. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just figured in this vlog, I could kind of show you guys some of the things that I'm doing with my kids. Um, and yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I just printed out, actually, I'm going to go grab them. Okay. I just printed out a bunch of reading A to Z books. Um, I printed, um, not like a bunch of different ones, but like one set. And actually I need to go put more paper in the printer because it didn't print them all. So let me go put this in the printer. Okay, so this week I, um, or not this week, but like, okay, let me rewind because I just spoke like way too ahead of myself. Um, I went through all of my students' iReady data from when they took the diagnostic in December, which was our diag the second diagnostic of the year. And I basically went through, I did this the last time too, but I did it kind of later because I didn't realize. Um, so I was kind of more on top of it this time, but I went through and I basically grouped my students in terms of kind of like reading level. So my guided reading groups, um, reading level and also, um, um, like skills. So they're kind of a mixture so as I was saying, I went through their iReady data. I grouped them by reading level and then by skill because my skill groups and my iReady, or sorry, my skill groups and my reading groups are going to kind of have to go into one because um, I don't have time to meet with skill groups and reading groups like that. So I just kind of grouped them into one group. So anyway, I went through and I took their data and I just kind of made goals for each group. Um, and one of the goals for actually a lot of, I have six groups total and like three of my groups had the exact same phonics goals, like their skill goals. Um, and it was all, um, or one of the pieces of it was vowel digraphs. So I'm gonna be working with them, starting off with a, making that long A sound. So the A-I and the A-Y. Um, so I printed a book off of Reading A to Z that's um, all like long A, so it's Jake. Jake and Gail go to Spain. Um, so I thought this one was a good one. And then I also found this little resource, which I like to do like little things like this. I just print like one copy and then we just kind of do it as a group and just like super quick and like easy. Um, but I found these like little um, L, I can never say that word, but sound boxes. Um, and they're all AI or AY. And then the kids will write on here, um, this is all bent, um, if the word was AI or AY. And then so they'll kind of figure out that AY goes at the end of a word, AI goes um, in the middle of a word. So, yeah. So they're going to do that. Um, and then I'm, I found this for their story because I wanted to find a story that kind of connected to the phonics skill that we're, we were working on and that's not what we're working on in class so like our normal wonders would go along with like what we're doing in class but that's not what we're doing in class as well so that's kind of where we're at right now um, i'm gonna finish making all these books i'm gonna get out of here super soon my goal is to leave at four and it's 350 so we'll see if that happens um but i also today i was going to show you guys one more thing and then i'll probably just continue this tomorrow but I moved this which is such a weird like little thing that I'm so excited about but I moved my um I'm not gonna turn this around because my microphone doesn't work I moved wow let's try this again I moved my Elmo to face the other way so normally it was like this way and I would have to stand on the back side of my desk and that's the way like it faced um I moved it so it'd be on this side so I could stand on this side which is like where my screen is and like where my kids sit. Um, just so I could like access them easier because I was constantly like moving around that table and like back and forth from the board to um, the thing. And so um, I put, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought. <laughs> I put this whiteboard um, 
little surface stuff on the table, which I kind of already scratched it a little bit, but whatever, um, on the table so I could use it. And I kind of really liked it instead of using, like going back and forth between my whiteboard and that because it just made it a lot quicker when I was doing my math lesson today. Um, and I could write like a lot smaller. I feel like on the board I have to like write so big and they like, like one thing takes up the whole, um, board and I don't know just like I don't know just I really liked it a lot more than my normal um just using my board and a lot of I'm sure a lot of people have like smart boards and stuff which is that would be way easier but I don't have a smart board so I just put that on the table and I seem to like it and then we were using these are just in front of me so I'll show you I think I've showed you guys this before um we're using the hide zero cards today for our math lesson and these are just those cards that um for place, excuse me, for place value. And you um, like stack them on top of each other and then you can pull them apart for the kids to realize like, this is 800, two tens, five ones. So um, these are super helpful and something you can super easily just make your own. You don't have to have the actual cards that like, um, I have that came with my curriculum. You can literally just make them yourself. So anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of these books finished and try to head out of here in the next Five minutes <laughs> we'll see if that happens all right happy thursday i say all right because i've literally tried to film this clip three times and i keep getting interrupted because people keep coming in um but that's okay because now my floors are vacuumed and everything is good everything is cleaned and we're all good so let me show you um it's thursday and i'm getting ready to leave i wanted to leave by 4 10 but since i kept getting interrupted now it's 4.10 and I'm not leaving yet. So, but my stuff's already packed. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to film and then I'm going to go. So yesterday I told you guys I wanted to show you just a couple ideas of things that I was doing this week. Like just simple, easy ideas. Um, and I didn't even show you like the main one that I've been using. <laughs> so um, let me show you that. I was sitting there today using it with my kids in a small group. And I was like, oh, I was going to show this and I never did yesterday. Anyway. Also, the bump is like totally coming out now, you guys. So, especially because I have like a tight shirt on. Um, I am 16 going on 17 weeks. So, super exciting. Where did I put... Okay, so I'm gonna like, see if I can just bend down here on the floor. This might actually work. All right, so I have um, these papers and I'm not even sure who this came from. However, um, it's something you would easily remake to kind of like fit your classroom because I didn't even like really use the resource all that much. Um, so I put these in dry erase sleeves, but this is um, an onset and rhyme little practice. And so they do, um, they put, the two cards that I've made inside of here. Um, and then they decide if the word is real or if the word is a nonsense word. So back when I made this a really long time ago, I didn't make that resource, but I made these little cards that went with it and then I never used them. They like got stuck in a cabinet somewhere and like I just never used them again. So um, I pulled them out because I had a f quite a few kids who, um, or not quite a few, I had like five kids who needed help with blending. Um, on set and rhyme according to I ready so I thought oh I had that resource so I pulled it out to use it and then I realized how like effective it would be for so many of my kids because I have a lot of kids that are working on um blends and stuff like that and there's blends like within this so this can kind of be adapted to a lot of different levels which is really nice so the way I've been doing it is so I have these orange ones which, which like I said I've made these um I don't remember if in the document there was like a list I feel like there was like a list of um the sounds and then I just re like I made it my own for whatever reason I don't remember um but for whatever reason I did make it my own so I have the orange ones I just printed on orange paper and these are the um the rhyme part of it and so you can see like there's all the different endings and I'll just pull out like one specific ones that I want the kids using and then I have the yellow ones which are like they're going to be the beginning the onset and I have like single letters so for my babies who are um 
Okay, I have a task that needs to be done before I leave. But anyway, so for my um, students who are still like working on um, more like CVC words, I use the single letter and then it's just like adding an ending. So it'd be like tad or whatever. And then I have a, my friends who are working on blends. Then I've got blends in here. And then there's also like three letter blends in here all the different stuff. And so how I've been using it is I'll have them like keep the same, either the same onset and they change out the rhyme part of it and then they build words so they can keep practicing like my blends kids. Um, that's how I've been doing it. So they keep the same blend and then they just keep changing this part. And then once they've kind of used them all, then they'll clear it and start over. Um, or with my um, CVC kids, I've been keeping the same beginning or how did I do it? No, I kept the same ending. Um, so it'd be like add, and then add all the different like single letters to the beginning. So a super easy like little thing that's so adaptable to any, and it's so easy to make. Um, I can see if you, I'm sure if you just like search that on TPT, it was definitely a freebie. Like I said, this is like the only piece of the resource I actually use is just this worksheet, which isn't even like anything special. You could just use like two boxes and just say real or nonsense. So it's nothing too um, crazy and like I said I made this um, if you're interested and you just want to email me I can email you the, the document that I made um, I believe I have it on my computer still I can email you the document that has these and then you can just print it out yourself um, because yeah so I just laminated them and yeah so um, my kids have really been liking that little game and um, I feel like it's a really good little practice game because they have to put the word together, they have to blend that, the sounds together and it's just, it's a really good little practice thing. So I wanted to share that with you guys and now I'm gonna go do my little job I need to get done and then I'll head out for the day. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow um, on Friday. This has been such a good week. Like I'm so excited to be back and feeling better and just, I don't know. It's just been such a fun week back with my kids. Um, I like missed them like a lot. Being out for three weeks is such a long time, but that moment of time in the school year where like I didn't feel good, it was such a perfect timing in a way to not feel good because if I could have picked any time because that part of the year is so kind of like mellow and slow. It's not really mellow, but like slow. Like there's, there really wasn't a lot of things that were going on for us between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, and it was a lot more just kind of like fun, like random things that we were working on. Um, and the kids like weren't super, you know, focused or anything like that either. So it just was like an easy time for me to not feel good. Um, whereas like right now that it's like halfway through the year, we started back fresh. I feel like I have to be on my A game like a lot with the kids. And um, it's a lot easier too because I feel better. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow and... I'll see you then. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday. Um, it's 3.30 right now, actually, like exactly. Um, and I'm just going to clean up my room and then I think I'm just gonna head out. I've been trying to be better about not, I feel like I just sit at my desk a lot and trying to like figure out what I need to do. And there's just like, I'm at the point in the school year where there's not that much going on. Um, other times of the school year, there's like a lot going on, but this point in the year, I just feel like there's not that much going on outside of just like my normal everyday routine. Um, obviously when like report cards and like stuff like that comes around, then there's more to do, but lately I haven't really had that much to do. So I'm trying to get home like earlier and, um, yeah, so my parents are actually going to stop by today cause they're going out somewhere, um, and our house is like on the way home. So they were going to stop and say hello um so yeah it was a good week today was a good day we did um martin luther king where did i put them uh oh they're right there we did a little martin luther king um craftivity uh where they we uh watched a movie or not watched a movie we watched um the brain pop that was martin luther king <clears throat> and then um we Sorry, I'm trying to find one that doesn't have a name. We um, filled in this little guy. This is from Michelle Hudgens on TBT. We used it last year as well. I just think they're so cute. So I do need to put these on the wall, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'll wait till next week. And they just wrote um, little facts underneath that from the Brain Pop video. And then we had a conversation. Actually, I put on the movie. Um, I always want to say my good my friend Martin but it's our friend Martin or something like that I don't remember um it's a good little movie it's really old but 
that's a good movie and it's on YouTube for free so we put that on and the kids typically every year they like really don't watch it they like it's just kind of on in the background as they um are working I'm gonna, like clean and talk to you guys at the same time it's usually just on like in the background while they're working on that project because it just kind of keeps them quieter um but today i like couldn't get them to finish the work because they were so into that movie um which it was fine because they were actually like really watching it and like um i don't know like caring about what was going on in the movie and it's an educational movie so wasn't like a super big deal and it's a Friday so it's whatever but it was just kind of funny like they were so like all the kids were just like watching it um so anyway I want to leave super soon I have to actually take one of my students won a bike but um they weren't sure if it was gonna fit in their car and then I um why is this like broken? This like handle came off of here. There we go. Um, they weren't sure if it was going to fit in their car and then the mom hadn't picked um, them up yet. So I was like, you know what? I'll just put the bike back in the office and um, I will just take it over to your house after school when I leave because I have a big car and all my seats are like already down in the car. I don't even remember why, but I just have kept the seats down in the back. So the whole back is just open. So it's like, I'll just bring it by your house. It'll just be easier. So I have to take that by their house, which I think is close to the school. I don't even know. I have to look up the address. So I'm going to do that. My parents are coming over. This weekend I have so much homework. Um, we, have, oh, we have our last few weeks of my master's classes. I only have two more class sessions that I actually have to go to, which is so crazy that I'm going to be done. It's so exciting, but um, I have a lot of work to get done before those two weeks are over. So I've got like all of my end projects and everything. This is all of our fun Friday stuff. It's all out because I don't have the kids put it back and organize in here because it's like Tetris in this cabinet, so I have to put it back a certain way. But anyway, um, yeah, so I only have two more class sessions to actually go to, and then I'm completely done, which is wild, because I feel like I literally just started, and it's just crazy that I'm going to be done. But I'm so excited to have my Tuesday back. I'm so excited to... Um, not have to work on actually not even having my Tuesday back that's not even like that bad I have to go to class but having my weekends back and not have to like we'll always worry about homework um I do have th like 13 more units I need to take before <clears throat> before I'm on the last column of our what's it called like a pay scale um I only need 13 more units to be on the literal the last column so um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for those last 13 because I want to try to get them done before um, next school year. So we'll see. I'm just trying to find some like easy like PD style stuff to work on. Um, yeah, so 13 units is pretty easy though. Anyway, I'm going to finish cleaning up and then head home. I think that was all I was going to show you guys this week. I didn't really show you that much, but I thought I would just take you along on my week let me clean up and then I'll think if there's anything else I was going to share with you because I feel like there was something let me clean up <laughs> okay so as you guys probably saw I hung up the little Martin Luther Kings I decided I had a few extra minutes so I went ahead and hung them up one of the sides though this side I should have put up like a little bit higher but I might end up fixing that because that's gonna drive me crazy um but I'm glad I hung those up because now it's 3 55 and I'm going to go up to the office make a couple copies and head out so if you enjoyed this video make sure I'm so out of breath from doing all that <laughs> make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.